Welcome to my crib. <laughs> I'm going to introduce my cameraman because he's going to be living here too. I fathered the children. Yeah. I'm very got, excited. Still got the hospital bracelet on. This is the entryway. So you're going to come in the front door and this will take you up to kind of like the kids wing. Um, I love this entry, this floor, the beautiful textures as you come in with that flagstone. This power bath. So cute. Love the colors. And then over here, you've got like here. an adult laundry room. I just love having two laundry rooms in this house. I just can't see them. And you look out into the backyard while you're doing laundry. Um, I just can't. Look at that little tree. So you come into the master bedroom. I kept the light from the old house because April sourced this light for me and I just like it. We love our light. Kyle really loves our light. The cameraman that lives with me, the father of my children, really loves that light. So I was like, what's from the light? I just cannot with this. I can't imagine like what my life is going to be like with my husband in this like master situation here. How we can like walk out here in the morning, put coffee in the hand, and like touch the grass with our feet. I mean, what are we going to do? Tile that April told me about that is so beautiful, but I wish that I knew some statistics about it, but I don't. I just know that it's awesome. This is beautiful. I can't take credit for any of this. Uh, April like sourced all of this stuff, and it's just I just can't. I don't have words for it. So we're missing the mirrors. This is the shower. In case you didn't know what a shower was, it looks like this bathtub looks like a little ramekin that you like make a souffle in. My dad was here and he was like, are you going to put up some curtains? And I was like, no dad, it's like a new thing. You just like take a bath like on the open street. This over here is super cool. It's like a little section to do your makeup. So you feel bland but rustic. You know? Show the plugs. Oh, yes, the plugs. Okay, so have you ever? I haven't. Stick a, stick a curl in there. This is the master closet. So, Kyle said he only needs a small section. Here's this section. Just kidding. 50 50. What's mine is yours. Just a little more mine. This is so nice to have this space. When I walked into the house, I was like, this is the closet. This hallway was the first thing that I fell in love with in this house. These barreled ceilings, I just think, are so special. And then you come into the living room. So the living room, um, these lime washed walls are just really um, cool. Like I just love the texture and everything in here. I love these plastic wings. Just think of the layout of this living room. It's so beautiful. Really like this little uh, fireplace. You go from the living room into the kitchen, into the dining room. I haven't been cooking because of like diabetes and being pregnant and just having a million things going on. But when you get in a kitchen like this, you better get to cooking. I've always wanted a kitchen with like windows in it. I've never had windows in like a kitchen. We had a little tiny one in our little condo. But our kitchen right now does not have a window in it. This is just such a joy for me, like being able to look out. My children swimming. It's a tree. Look at this. I mean, have you ever? So the appliances in here, there's two dishwashers. There's uh, all this storage, but look at this fridge. I could live in the fridge. Okay, and then this is called like a scullery pantry, a butler's pantry or something. So all the appliances are in here. So double oven, ice maker, trash can, we're gonna put a coffee maker in here. All this wine stuff for the non-wine drinking person that lives here. Kyle doesn't really drink wine either. So we'll be putting like breast milk and house seafood punch in here. Um, and Cokes. And glass Coca-Cola's, Mexican Cokes, Kyle loves. I like to keep things very clean. So I love having space where you can like put everything. It can be a little messier. I'm also going like the Khloe Kardashian home edit vibe. They're doing my pantry. and. I want it like wood and glass. I don't want like acrylic and plastic anymore. Coming from the kitchen into the dining room. These like windows. So this, if you saw on Instagram, we were like picking out this wallpaper. I adore it. 
snow water, this water water. I'm sure it's gonna have like color crown and Sharpie all over it in no time. So remember it this way. And then come out to the pool area. Okay, this. I mean, have you ever seen like a tree planted on a porch before? E mi chiedo vale la pena di restare qui abbracciati. Mentre il giorno non c'è più e la luna da lassù fa da specchio ai nostri baci. How well? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Little brains behind all this construction. Don't give me that much credit. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the office. Um, the office was supposed to be a bedroom, so it has like a full shower. In case you really worked yourself up, need to take a shower. Sometimes I do. Um, bathroom, shower, pantry. All these pictures. So then you can come around the corner, you have a little like drop station here with your keys, your purse, whatever. And then a bathroom. So you need 750 bathrooms on the first floor. This one's all white one. It's great for toddlers and a young newborn. <laughs> this is coming in from the garage. So here, I had to put these bedroom cabinets because I like like all clutter away. I'm gonna try and keep this house clean, but you know, a lot of kids live here. So this is um, an addition, and then this is just like the garage, which we are very excited about. We have a small-ish garage right now <clears throat> that you can fit like two cars in, but the fact that, I mean, we don't have three cars, but if we got like a golf cart or something. So from the garage, you come up this staircase. There's two entrances to the top floor. The top floor is like the kid's zone. This is a kid's laundry room. This is just, I can't even imagine having two laundry rooms and being able to separate the kids and adult clothes. And this is just a little extra bathroom here. All the bathrooms in this house are like so special. Um, I love like the wallpaper choices that they did. And that's just like kids zone. Maybe they'll wash their hands now. Come out of here. You have one kid's bedroom. We're gonna do Shepherd's bedroom. This one. Sure, they'll be jumping off the roof into the pool in no time like my brothers did our whole lives. No doubt. <laughs> Fell in love with these tiles. Um, these penny tiles are like everywhere all over the house. Come out of this bedroom and then this, we went back and forth on what we were going to make this room. We're going to make it like a bunk room. So we'll have some bunk beds. I thought about making it a gym. <laughs> I can just see my kids on the treadmill in the middle of the night. <laughs> So we decided to make like a bunk room, an overflow playroom um, for when they have guests over. And then you come through here and this is like the big kid zone playroom. Um, this is going to be a really cool room. We've got a big sectional couch going in here, a TV, um, some chairs, a bunch of different sections like an art section, like imaginative play section. And you come out of this um, playroom, remember it's a chef's room, bunk room, bathroom. Laundry room. And this is the second boy bedroom. So this is going to be Ford's. We did have them swapped, but House and Ford needed this one because it was bigger. So I love the view out this window too. And this bathroom. I can't imagine having a bathroom like this as a child. If I was designing this like from the very beginning, I would have been like, it does not need something that fancy, but fancy arrived and here we are. So this is um, that penny tile again, like woven through, I just really love. This is really cool. Um, this shower, I just can't imagine. I was like, April, who designed the whole house, I was like, is this okay for a kid's shower? She's like, are you kidding me? He's gonna love taking a shower in here. In here. Walk out of this room, and eventually I think I'll put like homework desks here or something. This is just a big closet to store things. I love the storage in this house. Um, that's something that you don't think about, I feel like, when you're building the house. Um, this is all storage. We put kids stuff here. All storage. And then this, like, secret tucked away attic. So it's like a big refrigerated, almost a refrigerated room. A big air conditioned room. It's got carpet. And then look at this. Ugh. The C section. You pull these stairs out and you can walk up there. Okay, and this we have not revealed yet, so you'll have to watch the nursery reveal video, but if you followed me for a while, then you know what we did for um, Shepherd's birth. So I let April, uh, so April like designed this whole house from the ground up, this, this house, her and um, 
Rogers build like did it together, but then she's also like decorating the house too. But before when we were in our other house, I gave her the gender of the baby. I did not know the gender of the baby, and she designed the whole nursery, and it was a total surprise. So behind these doors is a total surprise nursery that I have not seen yet. So you got a big room, big closet, big bathroom, but I don't know what it looks like. So in about a week, we'll post the nursery reveal video, and you'll be able to see this. And then you come out of the nursery, down the front steps, and back to the beginning. Outside is my domain. Okay. So I'll take you out here. We come out here to the pool. There ain't no skinny dipping, Mallory. Oh yeah, I'm the one you gotta worry about. Now, something I love are these gas, um, these gas lights right here. I think they look good at night. So we got a pool right here, little stairs, a little bench right here. Got my fans. I like light wood fireplace. I'm gonna do the TV right there. We got a couch. I'm gonna put the egg. Eventually, um, a little stove out here, a little refrigerator. All that good stuff, and I think once the kid gets the kids get older, I'd love to put a table out here. So yeah, you can eat outside, everybody can chill outside, watch TV, especially in the fall. And I love this little view out here when the kids are playing. I can grill, and they can just run around in the in the yard. Back for the master. Can I have some like cutting flower beds here? I'm gonna have common hydrangeas on my. I know he is. We're gonna do um, a play set out here, chicken coop, a garden, cutting flower beds. It's just so nice, like having space to do these types of things because we just like never really had the space before. We did those two little um, raised beds that my grandpa made us at our house now, and it was just so special to like do as a family and um, have the kids participate in and stuff. So back here, I'll have my chickens. I wore the wrong shoes for this. Oh dear. Tour. And then you'll see the garage and this side of the house. I love this right here too because our kids have enough space to like ride bikes and all that jazz. Yeah. And then this is a really cool thing. So we have some people like in and out of our house that um, this is just really great because you can walk in this little side entrance and it goes straight to the office. This door is like an old timey door. It's either like a boat or like it's like hundred or something years old or something it's just like cool apparently and um, they painted it blue so this is the friends entry and I just love all these quirky little fancy fun things then you come around the side of the house from that friends entry and you are at the front of the house got this nice little um, space here where they can like ride their bikes and people can park their cars so I hope you enjoyed this um, empty house tour like I said it's a place where everyone see this house I don't know what they say at the end of Cribs. You ain't got to go, but you got to get the hell out of here. Well, okay. See ya. Mon chéri, je t'en prie, ne me fais pas.